Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so happy almost 2020. Gosh, that feels so weird to say, but I'm here today to do a bit of a roundup of my style favorites over the last year. I've kind of been scrolling from my phone and looking at my old favorite videos, trying to see what were the pieces that I liked and reached for the most over 2019. So um, I'm really excited to film this roundup, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to be starting with all my clothing favorites and then I'm going to move on to shoes and then I also have a couple of accessories and things like that that I wanted to share. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you want to see a new video from me every single Thursday. So starting with a staple that a lot of people would wear, denim. My favorite pair of jeans I've discovered in 2019 has definitely been Reformation jeans and they're really really good in quality and they look amazing on. These I believe are the Cynthia style and I also have the Eloise style with like the buttons and like the wide leg but both of these styles have just really nice like rigid denim that feels really comfortable on and feels really thick and soft as well. So these are potentially one of my most flattering pairs of jeans and it's a pair that I've reached for a ton over the year. I feel like I've actually barely reached for any other jeans other than Reformation for like a good six months of the year. Um, so really happy with these and for those of you looking for a nice quality pair of denim that's going to look really great on, I definitely do think Reformation is worth checking out. I picked up waist 24 in these which is my normal size so these seem to run pretty true to size and I did get quite a bit of leg length cut off it um, just because it was quite long when I first received it. I spent New Year's last year in Italy. And just after the new year, I was in Venice and I picked up this brown coat from Mango. And of all my clothing pieces, this is probably my most worn piece of the year. I reached for this coat every single day while I was traveling over January. And then I wore it over the entire winter in Australia, pretty much every single day. And it's still looking really good. The material doesn't feel like it's, you know, peeling or there's no like bobbles or anything like that. This coat is online so it's really light to wear and really comfortable. I actually am someone who doesn't really like lining on coats so this works for me really well. I also feel like this, this longer style of coat just looks a lot more premium and just incredibly chic when you have it on. So I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of knitwear pieces now and most of these pieces I've discovered in 2019 if not right at the end of 2018. So this is our Mario knit has definitely been one of my most worn sweaters. For me, this is very, very chic. There's something about this cardigan that is a little bit like Parisian to me. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it looks a bit vintage and also it's just incredibly effortless to throw on. This is another piece that I just wore a ton over the top of my work clothes because it was just so versatile and easy to pair with everything. This was definitely one of my favorite, favorite sweaters to wear in 2019 and I'm sure I'll wear it a lot more next year as well. About halfway through the year, Everlane released this sweater and I eyed it up for a while before they kindly sent it to me. Um, so I picked out this mustard color which has been so fun to style. I wear it in a very similar way to the Mario sweater. Because it's a little bit more cropped um, and not super long, I just feel like it goes over anything really easily. So I could just throw it on and go and not have to worry too much about it. Um, there's something about this color that just makes me so happy every time I wear it. And the shape of the, the shape of the sleeves, which is like a little bit of a balloon sleeve, I think is really cute. This is just a really beautiful sweater, that 60% alpaca by the way. I've only had this maybe for 3 or 4 months, but I've already worn it a ton and it's just been really really fun to style and I tend to throw it on over any other sweater because it's just so easy and so comfortable to wear. This is a very very flattering sweater and I just really love the shape of it. Um, this is another one from Everlane and it has a nice ribbed like neckline detail and then it's once again a bit of a balloon sleeve and super tight at the cuff. So it creates a really nice like balloon effect on the arms which I personally find just super super cute and flattering. Um, it's ribbed at the bottom so it really accentuates the waist. So this dress looks really good with midi skirts and just skirts in general because it does like it does highlight the waist area with the ribbing detail. It's quite a heavy cotton material 
Um, so it's a little bit different to some of my wool sweaters and this is definitely one of my favourite pieces for the winter. This next piece is a 100% cashmere sweater from Everlane. So it's a little bit annoying because Everlane actually doesn't release the sweater to everyone. So this is 93% cashmere and you can definitely feel it. It feels so premium, so high quality. If you're looking to splurge a little bit on your winter wardrobe, I would say a cashmere sweater and like a chunkier cashmere sweater is an amazing piece to own. So the next piece I really wanted to talk about is this um, sleeper dress. So it's from the brand Sleeper. So as the name would suggest, they make sleepwear that you can actually wear out and is basically just as comfortable as sleepwear. So I have this dress that I wear a ton in the summertime. I'm actually about to put it on today um, because it's super hot today and I want something really cool and really easy. So it's 100% linen and it has buttons all the way down the center. Every time I wear this dress, I feel like I get a lot of compliments um, because it is a very effortless dress. It doesn't look like you've tried too hard at all, but at the same time, there is something incredibly chic about a simple long linen dress. This dress actually only comes in one size, so it has an elastic top and it is quite a voluminous dress. So I definitely don't think, you know, we're all one size, but I do feel like this will fit multiple sizes um, because of that elastic stretch and because it is a very, very loose style. So there's a couple of ways you can wear this dress. You can wear it on the shoulder, which is what I normally do. You can wear it off the shoulder, which I do sometimes, and you can belt it or you can leave it just super loose. I feel like this was a really good purchase for me in 2019. And moving forward to 2020, this is the kind of piece that I want to be bringing in. Pieces that I know I'll wear for a very long time. And are made from like natural fibers and just have a lot of versatility to them. 2019 was also the year I discovered Doan. I feel like I've talked a lot about this brand since I guess early 2019 and I especially like their blouses. So I think Doan is definitely one of the more premium places that I shop at. They are quite expensive. I definitely do save up for their pieces and any purchase from Doen is usually quite considered and I think a long time about it because I definitely need to be able to wear it a lot to get to for it to feel like it's worth it. But this is a blue top um, that I've absolutely worn to death. It is very Victorian in style. It's such a lightweight, like gauzy cotton, um, which is really beautiful in, in its own way. It has a bit of a high neck with lace detailing and honestly I think there is so much detail that goes into Doan pieces so when I get it, it's super lightweight but it definitely feels like a piece that has a lot of thought to it um, which I really like. This blouse is a very classic Doan blouse um, not necessarily the colour but I feel like with the billowy sleeves and the super loose body a lot of Doan blouses are in this shape if I'm having a bit of a bad day and I just want to feel a little bit better, look a bit nicer, um, this is definitely one of the pieces that I like to reach for. When I put this on, I just feel so comfortable in it. The cotton is so soft and all the little like feminine details definitely make me feel a lot better and a little bit less gloomy. So Faithful is a very popular Australian brand that I've, I've worn for ages, but I think it's only in 2019 that I've really gotten into it. So this is a dress I feel like I've worn more than like 30 or 40 times this year. Um, it's a really simple summer dress. Simple meaning that I find it really comfortable because it has sleeves so I don't have to worry about like bra straps and things like that. And it's quite long so it kind of just covers everything while being quite loose. So it's really really very comfortable and doesn't get like hot and sweaty either. These pieces are all made from rayon which actually feels very cool and light on the skin. With faithful dresses, I always say to hand wash them because I feel like rayon does shrink um, a lot in the wash. So yeah, best to hand wash it. And these dresses, I feel like just design really well, are very feminine and really comfortable to wear in summer. Also, they're Australian and their materials are made in Bali in Indonesia. And they're all kind of like hand dyed, hand printed, which I think is really cool. I've always been a bit of a fabric snob, but I feel like in 2019, I really tried to bring in only natural fibers. And for the most part, I feel like I was quite successful. I, I don't have a lot of polyester things, 
So linen has definitely been my best friend for the summertime. I have this Everlane top in a beautiful linen that I reach for all the time. It's super lightweight, super easy, and there's something about linen that just looks really effortless when it's a little bit creased. This is a Venroy skirt, which is an Australian brand, and this is one of the most flattering skirts that I've ever worn. So I'm not sure if you guys have remember this skirt, but I got it in it was in my summer staples video and it's an amazing piece that I just really continue to wear um, a lot. Same with the brand Not Perfect Linen. They only do linen pieces and I spoke a lot about them this year. I still love them. They do some really great designs, really great colours because you can choose it all yourself. So another really great brand for linen. In 2019, I feel like I started wearing a lot more trousers. Um, and I don't really know why or what it is, but before then, I think I only really wore denim. If not denim, I used to wear a lot more skirts and dresses, even in the winter time. So this year, I've really fallen in love with wearing trousers. There's something that makes me feel like really good about, about wearing a nice pair of trousers to work, or even on the weekend. Something really effortless about it, and look, a pair of really good tailored trousers just make me feel incredibly confident for work. So these are a pair of trousers that, that are from Mango and I think they look really great on. So they're belted at the waist and they're almost like a culotte style. So they're really wide legged and they're about 7 8 length. And it really cinches you in at the waistline and just feels incredibly chic on. So my other favourite are these um, pants from Everlane. They're like, a, it's like an ochre colour or a warm tone like khaki but these are being really nice to wear with like t-shirts um, they feel very effortless a little bit masculine because my partner always wears pants like this I just find these pants really comfortable they feel really chic on and they have a very clean aesthetic which I also like so that's all for clothes so moving on to two pairs of different shoes um, this might surprise you guys, maybe, because I don't feature these a lot on my channel necessarily, but I wear them a ton. My most worn are probably my Veya sneakers. Um, it says V12, and I'm not sure if that's a style, but I'll have a link in the description bar below. There's something a little bit um, like retro about these sneakers that I really like. So it's like leather in the center. There's a bit of like a suede on the sides. There's like the navy V. I feel like it's there's a lot going on in this sneaker. It's not a very clean pair of shoes, but these have been these are actually a sustainable brand. So it's all made from like recycled materials and made in Brazil. These shoes I definitely broke in for quite a while, but after I've broken them in, I just find them really easy, really comfortable to wear. Um, I feel like they're quite wide, so they definitely don't like squish my feet, which is nice. And I like the way they look. I think they look really cool with a lot of skirts and also look, of course look amazing with denim and jeans. The next pair of shoes probably won't surprise you. Um, they are these Chloe slides. So I'll just get in a bit closer. There's something about this shoe that looks really dainty on for me. I feel like the scalloped edges are like a Chloe signature and it's just a really cute detail. And then being a slide, I feel like it's really comfortable to wear. I definitely feel like shoes are a bit of a gap in my wardrobe so i do have quite a few pairs of shoes but i feel like when it comes to going out the door and from walking a lot which i do with my lifestyle there's actually not that many pairs of shoes that i can comfortably wear all day long with no issues whatsoever so that's something that i want to discover more of in 2020 just comfortable walking shoes that also look kind of cute okay so on to jewelry now um I'll just start by saying, I think my favourite jewellery brands this year have been Fedoma. I think Fedoma is, has been such a beautiful jewellery brand um, discovery. They actually kindly reached out to me and just sent me a few things. I didn't pick them out and there was no obligation to kind of talk about them. I've actually been wearing Fedoma jewellery pretty much every single day. Um, like either a ring from them or a necklace from them in the last three to six months. Um, because everything they sent me was so beautiful and I was actually just so surprised that I liked every single thing. So one of the pieces is this little necklace. As you can see, it has a bit of like a mother of pearl or pearl detail in the center. 
and it's a little bit of like a vintage design whilst being just incredibly elegant and feminine which I adore. Another piece from them that I may or may not have shown um, is this ring. There's so much detail to this ring and it just feels so beautiful and so like unique and vintage that I've just been wearing it a ton. If you're looking for something a bit more simple, I also have this necklace from them, which kind of has a mirror effect because it's actually just the gold, like shiny surface. This is a really simple but beautiful um, necklace that I've actually been wearing a lot as well. My, my other favorites are, have kind of been hoop earrings. So if you watch my videos, I feel like I'm always wearing a bit of a hoop earring. So my favorite, um, my favorite hoop earrings have definitely been these croissant earrings from Majuri. They're actually really hard to show on camera. They make a really nice everyday pair of earrings um, whilst being a little bit special because of that croissant kind of spirally detail. But otherwise, the ones I'm wearing right now are some of my favorites. These are from Reliquia from probably about a year ago. And I just find them so cool. They're really big, but at the same time, I just love the details. These are quite a statement earring because they're quite big, but at the same time, I just love the way they look. And if my outfit is simple, even if it's a bit dressier, I just love to wear these. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a bit of a roundup of my 2019 favorites. When you're watching this, I'm going to be in Spain or in Portugal. I'm going to be doing lots of filming while I'm there and sharing with you a ton of winter outfits. So stay tuned for that. I'm also going to be doing stories a lot on my Instagram. So I'm going to be linking my Instagram in the description box if you're interested in seeing what I get up to. Please like this video and subscribe. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful new year and I guess I'll see you in 2020. Bye!